This video is provided by Dent Supply Serona and is to be used as a guide to enhance the clinician's skill in acquiring quality radiographs. This informational guide is not intended as a replacement for the Directions for Use manual for any product shown. Always check your manufacturer's guidelines for recommended use of equipment. As displayed here, the clinician aligns the interproximal indicator slot with the interproximal spaces to ensure open contacts. Due to the inactive portion of the sensor or limited access, a cross arch placement of the sensor may be necessary along with an adjustment to the horizontal angulation of approximately 15 degrees distomesial to achieve a quality diagnostic radiograph. The following video demonstrates this adjustment to allow for premolar bite wings with optimal diagnostic information. The vertical angulation is typically set at positive 5 degrees. Once the bite block is in place, slide the aiming ring down the arm close to the patient's face. Align the tube head of the x-ray unit in a close approximation to the aiming ring and center it. The x-ray image is now ready to be captured. Similar to the premolar bite wing, the central ray must be perpendicular to the image receptor when placing the molar bite wing. It is essential to include the distalmost portion of the second molar or third molar if present. When placing the sensor, allow the sensor to find its way in the mouth and just prior to having the patient close, gently shift the holder as far distally as the patient will allow. Once the bite block is in place, slide the aiming ring down the arm close to the patient's face. Align the tube head of the x-ray unit in a close approximation to the aiming ring and center it. The x-ray image is now ready to be captured. Thank you for viewing this instructional educational video brought to you by Dent Supplies Serona.